Hey guys, I'm Alpha Lorray and welcome to Twin Flames Divine Goddess Healing. Today I'm going to channel a general collective love reading for the month of March for the sign Libra. So thanks so much for tuning in. Alright, Libra, what's your energy? We have the sun. So, um, let's see if I can get that to focus better. There we go. So you're definitely, um, I'm definitely feeling your vibe. You're very chill right now. Um, <laughs> you're probably in quarantine if, <laughs> if you're in this state of flow. You're um, actually just really um, in a place of, of taking a step back and just really enjoying being in the moment. This is a really healing time for everyone if we can utilize that energy um, properly. We have the garden and the gate on the bottom of the deck. So, um, you know, this is definitely a time of real healing and transformation for everyone on this planet, but especially, you know, this is the energy that you're tapping into right now. And we do have the one for new beginnings as well. So this is kind of um, an opportunity for you to turn, to turn a new leaf if you haven't done that yet what's your partner's energy we have door to value so your partner is definitely feeling the abundance as well is what i'm getting from this so let's pull more energy for your partner we have Storm Warning, and we have Seventh Chakra Archangel Uriel. We still have Garden and the Gate on the bottom of the deck. So let's pull a clarifier for the Storm Warning. Okay, so we have the World, we have Strategy, and we have Indecision. So this is to clarify that Storm Warning energy um, in regards to your partner. So right now, and they're definitely in tune and tapped in with their higher chakras, their crown chakra, um, you know, really tapping into that divine light within them and their higher self. And they definitely have potential of, of really creating a lot of abundance for themselves but it looks like in a sense that storm warning is their own fears of not being able to accomplish achieving or keeping this abundance in their life maybe it's bringing up some fears inside of them because we do have the indecision card so um, and we have strategy in the world so they definitely have um, an issue with control right now. So they have a very clear, precise um, vision of what their higher self really wants. And there's 333 on the camera. Um, and I believe, well, we have fourth chakra Archangel Raphael at the bottom of the deck now. And it's the number 38. But I did see, I don't know where that... Um, garden and the gate card went but I, I thought I saw it might be number 30 but I'm not for sure um, so threes are definitely very relevant um, in regards to your partner's energy and we also have the 31 for um, this door to value so what I'm seeing for them especially is um, through this storm they have an opportunity to you know create value from it so it may seem very scary, and that is what they're currently focused on strategizing. And that's what brings this indecision. So what I'm getting from this is, um, this is partially, I, I hear partially in regards to you, but also with um, their career or, um, you know, other aspects of their world that... Um, they want to be able to balance or merge things in a really smooth, graceful way. And they're afraid of 
you know, disaster striking, of course, right now with the whole, you know, virus outbreak, it may have put some sort of, you know, damper on certain plans that they had. Um, but this is a, a really, it's a divine, um, you know, thing that this is happening right now. And it's really causing people to really have to let go of control and to trust the universe and to get connected again with the heart space and with your feeling body and enjoying yourself and being more in the moment. So I am seeing that they are definitely on the track of creating a lot of value in their world. They're on the, they're on the right track. Um, they just kind of have to push through these um, issues of control and fear that they're facing right now because of this. Um, as soon as they're able to let go of the illusion of control, they're going to find out that they, they really have nothing to worry about, that everything's going to play out just fine, and um, they need to trust. So what you can do on your end, you can even um, meditate and, and connect with Archangel Uriel and ask her to... Actually, I think Archangel Uriel is actually a male... Um, Archangel, if I'm correct, but they they have it as a woman. I, I'm really unsure I would have to look that up, but um, either way, it doesn't matter, but Archangel Uriel does connect with lion energy and um, can really, and also, you know, the, the lion's gate um, as well, that portal, and, and so with this... Um, opportunity of, of being at the gate so you will right now with your energy I think it's reflecting in your counterpart as well you both have an opportunity to work with this energy and to ask for assistance especially through Archangel Uriel to, to kind of help you transition to bridge the gap from 3d reality to 5d and and to help to anchor that down into the 3d right now this is a big thing that's happening globally that's going to allow for a new way of being and and doing on the planet for a lot of people that's gonna actually um, really help for the highest good okay so it, it's very vital that you learn to trust and and really get more in tune with your feeling body and connecting with your higher you know your higher selves and, um, you know, being that anchor for your partner as well in the, in the 5D um, is what I'm getting from spirit. Um, you know, you need to focus your energy on connecting with them through meditation, through the 5D, and helping them in that sense, not necessarily, you know, trying to do things in the physical. You, you need to kind of um, take a step back, which I think you're doing from what I'm seeing in the Sun card. You're, you're really learning how to give to yourself during this time, and that's exactly what you need to be doing. Um, and, and learning how to receive from ultimate um, possibilities, ultimate, you know, um, different ways that the that the universe and the earth can actually provide for you um, versus trying to have any expectations right now coming from your partner you need to focus more on you know how can I attract more abundance just by you know being in a state of love okay so the more that you're able to do this the more you're actually um, helping draw your partner in you know, um, in a way that's going to be for their highest good as well. So just connect with them through the 5D, meditate with them and for them, and just hold space. That's really all that Spirit's asking you to do right now. Um, clearly, your partner is very focused on a lot of things, and they're very busy. So um, I think there's kind of an understanding that you have going on, though, with this connection. So what do they want you to know? Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So, um, 
you know, that's really a perfect message for your energy and what you're um, attracting to you right now. I'm going to pull one more. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Beautiful. And that's actually like really perfect <laughs> with the sun card because the woman's just basking in this, you know, this very deep, it's like a bath, but like a pond, you know, but it reminds me of that card. My love for you is as deep as the ocean and, and the feminine is just kind of basking in this love. So whether your partner's providing things for you in the physical, I, I think they're, you know, working through spirit to provide things for you, um, through, you know, the abundance of, of the universal flow and abundance. And this is what's attracting so much prosperity to you. Um, whether your partner actually realizes that they're doing that or not, you know, they may be praying for you. Um, they may be just, you know, holding space for you or, or sending good thoughts or love your way. And um, it's, it's actually creating a lot of beautiful manifestation for you. So you're being asked to release more and let go more and just really be in the moment and be in a state of love and receiving. Yes, this is your partner's energy. We have lead. So this is what they're doing. You know, whether they're speaking to you about their plans or what they're working on or not, I don't feel that they are because I think they're in such a state of they don't want to jinx anything by talking about it they don't want to um talk about their plans because at this point everything is literally so malleable and unstable and in the unknown that it seems like things are shifting like constantly from day to day or even throughout the day they don't really have a solid you know idea of how this is coming together they're literally just on this path of of you know trying to make it happen and and focusing on that so you know they're they're not trying to mislead you by you know telling you that they're doing certain things you know for you um in a sense for long term, you know, maybe to create a more stable um, family life or family home with you, um, you know, whether they're trying to come up with ideas to make more money or to just, you know, really clear out a lot of things that don't serve them. They're really taking leadership and making things happen. And we do have the number four. So there's a lot of stability here. And I just saw 1313 on the camera. So that's four and four again so they're also um divinely protected by the angels as they go through this so you know continue to hold space and continue to just give yourself that self-love and nurturing that you are most likely doing right now if you're not you should um yeah we have strengthening bonds and again that's the number one here so um new beginnings taking a new path you know you're really in your divine feminine essence and the more that you're able to ease into this energy and just really like enjoy yourself in the moment and not need or want for anything the more you're just literally in this place this period of grace and gratitude and just really enjoying yourself in the moment you're actually strengthening the bonds you know the energetic fifth dimensional bond between you and your partner. They're feeling this love from you, whether you're, you know, reaching out or not. Um, right now, I feel like there is a little bit of energetic distance, but this is good. You guys kind of need this to work on your own separate things, you know, so that you can come together and, and really enjoy each other's time and company when you, when you do come back, you know, into this union union happens in different phases okay so so does separation but it's all illusion it's all you know depending on there's different levels and it's all depending on you and how you're viewing your connection or not so 
I, I definitely have noticed a, a very big um, a shift in energy, even just since the new year. A lot of twin flame um, or soulmate couples are really coming into a deeper energetic bond together. Even if you're still kind of experiencing the same type or amount of distance in the physical, there's more union energy. Um, you guys aren't so afraid or labeling it as separation anymore because you have a deeper understanding of what's going on. And um, so you guys are actually coming more into an energetic union um, during these times. And um, we're kind of phasing out of that whole separation um, way of identifying with our counterpart now. We, we have a deeper understanding of this overall... Um, you know, really divine mission, but also um, our own perceptions of ourself and how we've always, you know, perceived things in the past. We're, we're understanding more that we have um, the infinite power to create the world that we desire and realizing that what we're putting our focus on is, is what's creating those reactions that that we're seeing and so um, a lot of us over the last several years even have gone through a lot of purging and healing and releasing and letting go so you've been able to get rid of a lot of very toxic low vibrational energy in your system and I still feel like there's some residual going on but it's not at a point where it's you're you're able to kind of still let go you know and love yourself for who you are and um not worry so much about those aspects um sabotaging you know what it is that you're creating or what you do have you you're understanding your your value more and as a human being and a reflection of god and um you're you're really learning how to love yourself through each moment, which is really beautiful. And and I'm feeling that energy too, just tapping in and, and talking with your energy. So if you're watching this reading, you, you're resonating with that on some level, which is really beautiful. So I'm gonna pull you another message deep in your heart. You already know the answer, do what feels right. And I think that's just confirmation, you know, that whatever, you know, um, I'm speaking to you, whatever you're doing at home right now, and just like look at her face. She just has her third eyes open and glowing with self-love, and there's just this reassurance that everything's going to be fine and everything's going to be okay, and there's butterflies here to show your transformation, and you're, basically it's confirmation that whatever you're doing right now, you know it's the right thing you know you're on the right path. So, in a sense, you, um, in a way, have more control than you've ever had before, even though you're actually letting go of control more and more. It's actually because you have that feeling of inner wholeness and inner union that's creating more control for you. So, it's allowing you to expand, which is really beautiful. All right, one more. I'm <laughs> They're drawing my eyes. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the, and the memories you have shared with those you love. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know why this card drew my attention. It's weird. Um, it actually <laughs> made me think of my mom. I saw these pink wings and I think I actually had a dream about my mom Last night, she passed away last year, and uh, rest in peace, mommy, and I know she's always watching over me, so, you know, I, I it, it's been a tough year, but um, I've, you know, really, despite everything that I've dealt with since then, I've had this strong knowing that she's, she's, she's with me all the time, and, you know, that makes me feel good, that makes me feel, you know, safe. And um, I actually just had a dream last night that um, 
uh, it had something to do with pink angel wings that my mom had pink angel wings or one of my cousins was saying that they remembered her having a pair of pink angel wings which she never owned like i don't know like costume i guess i don't know but it's so random like i keep having these random dreams that are like actually happening um which is really weird i also had a dream like literally two nights ago of um a bird that died and one of my co-workers who's one of my soul sisters found it and she knew that uh, i needed to heal it so she actually laid it outside of my home on the on the sidewalk for me to find it even though like it was basically dead it was the weirdest thing but then after that like the next day my roommate told me that he was at work and um he they found a bird stuck because he works at a warehouse so there was a bird like stuck in like something and i guess it had been there for a few days which is really sad but they found it and so he actually took it upon himself to like to take it outside and free it and so he put it in the grass in the sun and something told me i was like god he should have fed it you know it's probably hungry and he's like well i didn't you know I was like, you need to take some bird seed with you to work. But apparently, like, he went back to work the following day and it had passed away. But it was so weird that I had that dream literally, like, right the night before that happened. And so these weird synchronicities keep happening with my dreams. So, but anyways, that's very off topic. But maybe it... <laughs> is significant for some of you if you're kind of um having the same type of things happening right now there's probably a reason why i um felt called to to speak on that so but like it says and then of course the message on it when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love and i think that's a thing that we're really coming into it, you know, in regards to losing our ego identities and, and releasing those, we're um, really understanding the deeper love with the people that we've shared in our world, and we're valuing it so much more. And I know especially since my mom's passed, you know, I can never, you know, bring her back, and I can never, you know... Um, give her more love than I've given her in her lifetime. And I know that it all happened exactly how it needed to, even though I still have feelings, you know, that, you know, come up about that. It's helping me to see things, to see other people differently too, and to value my connections with the people who are in my life, you know, and to not be so selfish, you know, um, in regards to expecting certain things from everybody else. And I think this, you know, if Twin Flame Connections, I think especially right now too, we're learning to really value our partner for who they really are and really seeing beyond the ego, you know, differences and separations. We're, we're kind of letting those um, old walls fall down and we're being more um, understanding of who our person is on a spiritual level and, and really loving them deeply through that. And, and that's, you know, exactly where we need to be right now. So it's a really beautiful thing. And, um, you know, I think a lot of that type of energy is coming up with the virus and, and things being so vi visually just you know, unstable, or I wouldn't really say unstable, but it just seems like we just don't really know how things are going to play out, but it's really causing us to to dig deeper and to, to forgive and to let go even more and to, to really appreciate the people in our world for who they really are and not what we're expecting from you know, our relationships, you know, we're, we're really 
learning how to love much deeper. So <laughs> hopefully that made sense, but I feel like you're really getting it, okay? I feel like you're resonating with that already. So I want to leave you with an angel message before we leave. So what do your angels want you to know? We have action. Drop all fear and just do it. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. Look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. So that's a really beautiful message. Um, and I think right now, having this time to kind of turn inwards, um, a lot of people are really diving more into creativity uh, from boredom. You know, a lot of people are getting bored and it's actually causing them to be a little bit more creative and expressive, which is really beautiful. So um, also take this time to, to really utilize that energy as well, because I think it's it's happening very naturally for you. And it's a really, um, really soft, beautiful energy to to really base, you know, moving forward and, and building something new on this type of foundation right now. So thank you guys so much. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Um, if you'd like to purchase a personalized reading with me or get any healing work done, I do offer light language healing sessions where um, I go through and um, it, it's a recording that you can listen to that will cleanse your cellular DNA and create more space for light and, and love to come in and, and heal your body and your universe as well. It's gonna ignite those new light codes that lay dormant in your system. So if that sounds interesting, or I also provide um, healing artwork for the home or any area that you um, need to get rid of some old or stagnant energy, if you want to create more high, vib high vibration in your home um, geared towards bringing in union, um, my artwork's very powerful. It's on my um, Etsy shop, Shamanic Alchemy Art. But everything's on my website, uh, divinegoddessbeauty.com. I also provide one-on-one -on -one, um, Twin Flame Union uh, coaching on my uh, program, the Ultimate Twin Flame Union Mastery Program. Right now, it's a really great deal. My prices are literally half off right now, and I don't know how long that's going to last, but my spots are filling up fast, and um, I definitely want you to have the opportunity to check it out. And, and sign up through my website, again, divinegoddessbeauty.com. Also, don't forget to uh, like me on Facebook at Twin Flames Divine Goddess Healing and my other page, uh, Divine Goddess Beauty. So thanks so much, guys. Take care. All the links are down below. Bye.